We're going inside them. We're going outside them. Inside them, outside them. And when we get them on the run once, we're going to keep them on the run. Men of magic. Men of muscle. The men of Notre Dame. Wake up the echoes, cheering their name. NFL Films has sort of a long history with Notre Dame. Well before I was there, NFL Films did a show called Wake Up the Echoes, which is the classic documentary on Notre Dame football. I think it was 1973. Hey guys, how you doing? Good. Uh, with NFL Films, we're you know shooting this week. Do you know primarily if uh, which field is it going to be equal or? Just that field. Offense, defense. My name is Digger O'Brien, Dennis Patrick O'Brien. Digger O'Brien, class of 89. I'm a senior producer for NFL Films. I've been there since 1995. Okay, thanks. Yep. I write and edit and produce, direct TV shows for NFL Films. Christian should have a, a headphones with Carlisle in one ear and Booker in the other. This week we're working on a show called Onward Notre Dame for NBC. It airs on NBC before the USC game. And this is the second straight year we've done it in conjunction with Fighting Irish Digital Media. At Notre Dame, you can hear the echoes. Having NFL films come in here for the second year is um, an honor in a sense that, uh, that they would pick us to, to, to profile what we do and how we do it on a day-to-day -day basis. Hey, uh, Dave, while we're waiting, can you put your camera right here and we'll push this up toward it? So it's basically an embedded week with the team and the school for this show. It's really the whole school is doing a move down to Dallas. So this show tries to be basically six days to Saturday. The show starts with the Oklahoma game. For the Oklahoma Sooners have just beaten Notre Dame 35 to 21. And then what they have to do in the next six days to prepare for the game Saturday in Dallas, the Shamrock series against Arizona State. Hey, Ryan. Having uh, NFL Films with us this week has been an uh, exciting opportunity. You, you get to see the work that they do, the, the movies that have been created, the, the shows that they've done. It's really neat to have a part of that. It's one of those things that I enjoy because I'm the behind the scenes the guy that gets things done and, and goes from here and there that nobody really thinks about and when people watch that show. Nobody really thinks about the time and the effort that they put into it. So it's been a unique experience to see their behind the scenes and the time that they spend, they're waiting on that, that right shot. And uh, it, it's been a neat, neat experience to see. Uh, they, they, they watched us build helmets. They truly, they, they watched our every move. They watched the coaches' moves, the players' moves. They, they did a lot of a lot of work where they were really getting into to Notre Dame football to see the day-to-day -day operation. Having NFL films come in this year was a lot of fun. You know, when they're around, it brings a lot of energy to the guys, uh, you know, so they can really you know capture the experience that we have uh, every day. It was cool. I'm not sure how to explain. You try not to pay attention to the cameras, but kind of knowing that you know NFL films today, you feel. Especially at practice days, you know, it's kind of an opportunity to maybe, you know, be a show what you got. So, especially for the younger guys who haven't been around it and weren't around it last year, you know, I know it was a good experience for them. It was something exciting because, you know, a lot of guys have aspirations to play at the next level. Coach Kelly is great to work with because he gets it. He understands the media portion of his job. He definitely understands the purpose of media and the purpose of a crew being here and showing the university, showing the team, showing the coaching staff in a favorable light for future students and future student athletes. I think it's about the Notre Dame brand and, and what it represents uh, across the country, excellence uh, in the classroom. So it's more than just you know, wins and losses. It's about number one graduation rate. It's more than just football. Impromptu production meeting. All right, here, here's tomorrow. Assume we got 10 minute interview with Brian Kelly at 10. Um, how's the audio with that? 
Digger has been fun. You can just see he, his interest in Notre Dame and his his love for it as well. And it's he's been great to have around. And I'm sure he's excited for all, all the stuff that he does. But his true excitement for for Notre Dame is it, it, I think it really stands out and shows. We found out uh, one of the guys on the crew went to do a shoot with Corey Robinson and found out he played ukulele. And so brought some ukuleles to media day and let a couple players battle it out. But yeah, the ukulele jam was, um, it was a moment in the show and it'll definitely uh, feature somewhere. It'll definitely feature somewhere, but, um, but the big thing is we start in Oklahoma we end in Dallas with Arizona State, and what happens during that week that makes the next Saturday Arizona State a success or failure, and hopefully uh, we captured you know, the, the ingredients that go into whatever comes out of the oven in Dallas against Arizona State. The Irish in the gold helmets and the all-white uniforms with gold numerals outlined in green, their Shamrock Series uniforms, they unveil a new one every year, and the Sun Devils to our left, ready to kick off. 